everyone and thank you for joining me here on my channel today and for watching this video. So today I'm going to be looking at new Google Meet features and in particular how to change your background in Google Meet. Now the last video I did in this was really popular, uh, I had nearly 300,000 views uh, and you guys loved it. So I want to do a revamp to that um, with Google Meet's edition of background changing. So I'm going to take you straight into a meeting now using a nickname or any other method that you can think of getting into a Google Meet, doesn't matter, the settings remain the same. But I'm gonna go into a meeting in a normal way now. Now before I go any further, it is worth noting here that this is gonna be available across all accounts, whether it be personal, um, Google Workspace for Education, or Enterprise Edition, this is gonna come out to all of your accounts. Now don't worry if you can't see this just now, it's a gradual rollout, so give it a few days or weeks and it will appear in your account. So I'm going to go into the meeting in a normal way now. So I'm going to turn my camera on now and you'll be able to see me. There you go. Hello, everyone. Um, so the first thing we're going to do to change this over is go to the traffic lights in the bottom right-hand corner. Some people call this the meatball or the snowballs. I call it traffic lights. Um, but I'm going to go down here and I'll see the option for change background now appear in my Google Meet settings. So I'm going to click on change background. Now I have a window pop up at the side, so I'll have my video preview in here, and also have a few buttons under here and some backgrounds to choose from. So I can choose from some of these backgrounds here, um, and I've got to say it's not uh, as good as Snap Camera, um, the previous video I did, so I will leave that in the description below for Windows and Mac users. I think that's a little bit better uh, at the moment, because this is the first draft for Google, they haven't done it before. So um, it's going to be a little bit ropey for a little while, uh, but bear with them, especially if you've got a Chrome, but this is going to be uh, better than nothing. And it's especially good if you haven't got to work from home office. Um, you know, some of us in remote learning situations, we don't have work from home offices and, it's, you know, we don't want to show students and staff inside our homes necessarily. So this is a great alternative for people that have only a Chromebook and you can't download Snap Camera for the time being. Alternatively, what I think is a little bit better is actually blurring the background out a little bit. So you've got two options here. You can slightly blur or you can really blur. So it's up to you what you want to do. Personally, I prefer the slightly blur. I think it looks a little bit more natural, a little bit better. Um, you're still blocking out some of the background, especially if you're in your kitchen, you've got notices up on the display board or anything like that. I think it's nice to have this little bit of a slight blur rather than a full blur, but that's my personal opinion and you guys will have different to me. Um, but I really like this feature. It's going to be uh, something that evolves over time. There is only a few images here at the moment, um, but there is going to be scope for more images to be added. Um, and something I have already been asked on Twitter is, is uh, can you upload your own images to this? And the answer at the moment is no, unfortunately. But you guys know how to submit feedback. Find your little question mark in the bottom of the Google Meet and submit your feedback, because Google really do read that, and they want to support you as educators and help you out. So make sure you find your little um, question mark, which you can find at meet.google.com. In the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see the question mark, and you can submit feedback to have uh, a feature added that you can put your own background on. Okay, but I really like this feature. I'm sure it's gonna come in handy for a lot of you um, in the education field, especially those, uh, you know, some friends I've got in America who are still do in a remote learning situation. Please make sure you share this with friends, colleagues, anyone that might find it useful. Please also like and subscribe to my channel. There's gonna be lots more videos coming in the next few days. Uh, as I say, I really wanna get back on top of producing these videos daily or even weekly for you guys trying to support you in your uh, in your education. So if you need if you've got any questions please leave a comment or contact me on Twitter at training with BM. Take care everyone.